The first thing I'd like to do is to show you what the audio sounds like without any fade in or any fade out at all. And you'll notice that it cuts off very abruptly at the end. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add by clicking on the audio on the timeline, making sure that we have the audio properties selected, we're going to add an audio action. Be sure to place your scrub bar over the area of the audio on the timeline. Now when we add an audio action, it'll be right where the scrub bar is. In this case, we want it to fade in, so we're going to put it at the beginning. And just so we can have a really good idea about what that fade sounds like, I'm going to make the fade really long, about three and a half seconds. Now at the very beginning of the audio, you want to make sure that the volume is down to zero. And you'll notice, and you can see it up there in the volume, it will go back up to 100 or 101, which is where we had it. Down to zero, up to 101. And it'll fade up, and now you'll be able to hear it. But it still cuts off, doesn't it? So what we want to do is we want to add another audio action at the end of the audio. So we'll click on the Add Audio Action, move it to the end, stretch it out. We'll get a nice good long fade out. And at the beginning you'll be at 100%. And then what you're going to do is move that scrub bar to the end and make sure that you put the volume down to zero. And now you'll see the audio fade out. So, we've got a nice fade in, and a nice fade out. And that's all there is to making an audio fade in and fade out action.